just a thought that God has put in my heart. In Matthew chapter 2, let's turn to it and uh, let's read this scripture. In uh, Matthew chapter 2, we see when Jesus was born to the earth, he was called the king of the Jews. There was another king who was on the earth. He was King Herod. The minute that he heard that the king of the Jews was born, he got so upset. He was mad and he also said, I would like to know where he is born so that I would come and worship him. The Bible says that it was not his intention to worship Jesus. Api then balande ani matheu devini pariche de tibena kathava. Api dhanava Yesu swahanse e upatala da mohote unmahanse rajatume khadi upatala bu atar e kalle tavat rajatume sitiya. Oge nama Herod. Iting Yesu swahanse upadina bawa aranche unahama. Ohuh ta itu amat tarah gya. Oh kalabale itu patu na kalabale itu pat vela. Ohuh kewa mata me raja tu mawa balan ya na one kia. So we see that these three wise people, they were so wise, they came to see Jesus, the baby Jesus. E wage ma apidan nama sastra wantean ti dinek sitiya. Oh no, me Yesus wahan seva balan nagiya, wahan seva balan nagiya. When they came to meet Jesus or when they saw Jesus, they worshipped him. On Yesus wahan se langkata abita, on Yesus wahan se te namaskara kala. You can read this whole story in the book of Matthew chapter 2. Matthew deveni pari chede, obata me mulu katha avama balan na puluan. And we see they brought some gifts when they came to see the baby Jesus. They looked at the star and they knew that there was somebody who was born who was called the king of the Jews. So when they came, they brought so many gifts and they worship the baby Jesus. Iti mesah asran wan tan ti dina abah hama Yesus wan sir main tiaga genala wan sir namaskar kala. I just want to talk about these three gifts that they brought. Mama khamati own visin gena main tiaga thuna gena kata karana. It doesn't say that three people came or the three wise men came. I believe the there were many wise men who came to meet Jesus, but they brought. Three types of gifts. At the time of Shashwanti and Tidelik ma awa khela pavasani na hai bho Shashwanti na hai tohut Pragnyavanti and Pemini and Yesus Vahan Seva Behda ki na namu thyag gatta ma thyag varga thunai on gina ave. One was gold, frankincense and myrrh. Ekakta mai 2.11. Ratran anitheka khattaku manjal saha. Suwanda latu, yana pandru tu nanti amai gina abe. So we're just going to look at these three gifts that they brought in. Nah, abe balan ni, anama un visin gina me pandru warga tu naga ena. Because we see Jesus was born as the Son of God or as the Son of Man to this earth. Abi dah kini nama Yesus wan supu tu labu eh, Dewi An Mahan sege putra hati er saha manusia putra hati er time me pola bater. He had kingly power. Kingly power. Unwahan set raja kene kuge balaya thi puna. So gold represented kingly power. Iting me ratran handun wanne raja kene kuge thi bina balaya. And frankincense, it represented divine and human nature. He was God and he was man on the earth. Khattaku manjal handun wanne divya maya saha me polave thi bina manushya subahavya gana. And the third gift was myrrh. That means death and embalmment. Ebagai ma thungwe ni kaya ge handunwa ni suan dalatu. Maranaya, ebagai ma maranaya apidanwa apikino embalm karena kela. Eka tamai itu na sahdaan karena. So what does these gifts represent in our lives, or what does it mean, or what does it bring into our lives? Then me thia ge valin apa ge jiwitaya da alut arutwa ni kumakda. The Bible says that our salvation or our redemption is much more precious than gold. So Jesus, when he was born, he was given the gift of gold. When we were born again, when we came to know the Lord or when we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, the first thing that we receive is redemption. 
නැවත උත්පාදනය ලැබුවාම අපට ලැබෙන පළමු කාරණාව කුමක්ද අපි උන්වහන්සේව ස්වාමීන් හැටියට පිළිගත් විට මිදීම කියන දේ තමයි අපට බලමු වෙන්නේ බයිබල් සේස් දැට් බයි හිස් බ්ලඩ් ඔ තෘ හිස් බ්ලඩ් හි වොෂස් අස් ක්ලෙන්සස් අස් ඇන්ඩ් හි ගිව්ස් හිස් රිඩෙම්ෂන් ටු අස් බයිබලේ පවසන්නේ උන්වහන්සේ අපව සෝදලා පවිත්‍ර කරලා උන්වහන්සේගේ ලේබලින් මේ මිදීම කියන දේ අපට ලබා දෙනවා you can read it in first peter chapter 1 verse 18 to verse 23 එක පේත්‍රුස් එකේ निर्भर Bible says that the blood of Jesus Christ enables us to enter the throne room of grace boldly. Bible pavasanne unwahanse ge levelin apita puluwan kama labila tibena nirbhetawa unwahanse ge karuna wesin hasaneda langa wenna. Book of Revelations chapter 1 verse 6 it says God has made us kings and priests unto God our father. E dedra weke haye sandahan karanne unwahanse apo rajawarun piyawarun hatita pat karala tibena piyanan wahanse wetata. So gold represents redemption. Itin ratran walin handunwanne midhimai. God wants us to reign on this earth as new creations. Demi anwahanse to one api me polave alut mavile hatiyata rajakam karannai. And upon this foundation he wants us to build our life. එවගේම මේ අතිවාරම මත උන්වහන්සේට ඔන අපේ ජීවිත ගොඩනගන්නයි. When we build our lives upon the foundation or on redemption and knowing that faith cometh by hearing the word of God, we will be strong whatever the trials may be, you can overcome. දැන් මේ අතිවාරම මත අපේ ජීවිත ගොඩනගන විට මේ මිදීම කියන අතිවාරම මත ඕනම පරීක්ෂාවක් ආවොත් අපිට පුළුවන් ඒකෙන් ජය ගන්න. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7 it says to continue to build our faith even through trials we can build our faith we can say god i thank you i can overcome any kind of a trial that comes against me hatat kyan apata viruddha wena onama parikshawakata viruddhawa api e nakiti naki sitna bita apage adahilla me tulin godanaga ganna puluwan wena bawai the trials of our faith is much more precious than gold etana pawasanne ratran walata wada pariksha walin apata ennavu e sodisi kirim anargai उन्हांसेली working for the lord and saying god i thank you that you live inside this vessel that's what god wants us to do ithe me bhajane api pirisindu thabagamu pavitrava shuddhava thabagamu unwahanse ta gauruve dena pinisa unwahanse kiwwe e aakaretai and the second thing it says frankincense that was the second gift that jesus was given deveni tyage hadiyata unwahanse ta denu labwe kattaku manjal and that represents divine and human nature ekthening handunwanne දිව්‍යමය ස්වභාවය සහ මනුෂ්‍ය ස්වභාවය you know we are human but the divine power of god dwells within us අපි මිනිස්යන් හැටියට ඇයි සිටින නමුත් දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ දිව්‍යමය බලය අප තුල තිබෙනවා the bible says that the kingdom of god is like unto treasure hid in a field බයිබලයේ පවසන්නේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ රාජ්‍ය කෙතෙහි සංගවා තිබුණු වස්තුවකට සමානයි කියලා jesus is the treasure who is hidden in our hearts දැන් අපගේ හදවත් වල සංගවා තිබෙන ඒ වස්තුව හැටියට තිබෙන්නේ jesus so we have eternal life deep within us we know that we have been saved redeemed we are the righteousness of god and the king of kings dwells in us ඉතින් අප තුල මේ සදා කාල ජීවනය තිබෙනවා ඒ වගේම රජුන්ගේ රජතුමා ස්වාමින්ගේ ස්වාමියා මේ අප තුල වාසය කරනවා and in luke chapter 12 verse 34 it says where your treasure is there will your heart be also luke 12:34 කියනවා ඔබගේ වස්තුව කොතනද එතන තමයි ඔබේ හදවත තිබෙන්න යන්නේ කියලා so when we place the kingdom things so valuable and we seek first the kingdom of god there will our heart be ඉතින් අප දේව රාජ්‍ය 
අගනා කොට සලකන විට ඒකට අපි ඉහළ ස්ථානයේ දෙන විට එතන තමයි අපේ හදවත තිබෙන්න යන්නේ 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 it says we have this treasure in earthen vessels 2 Corinthians 4 7 4 7 කියනවා මේ අපගේ භූමික භාජන වල අපි මේ දේ දරා සිටිනවා කියා so jesus is uh, the divine part of it who is dwelling in our spirits i think jesus wants say thamai apage aatma wala vaasaya karanna wu me divya maya de the bible says that frankincense it represents human and divine nature and it also means prayers that people pray it goes before the father like incense ඒ වගේම දැන් මේ කට්ටක මංජල් මිනිස්ස ස්වභාවය සහ දිව්‍ය මේ ස්වභාවය යන දෙක මහ දුන අතර අප විසින් උන්වහන්සේට කරන යාඥාවල් ඒ යාඥාවලු තිබෙන්නේ මේ සුවඳ දුම් ආකාරයටයි. Jesus is our mediator. He intercedes for you and me just the same way God has called us to intercede, mediate for mankind. Then before he, God Jesus wahan said apage meduhat karu hadir sitna debian wahan se betatat manushya betatat e wagema un wahan se apenut bala porutu wenawa manushyanwa debian wahan se betata handunwa dimata so when we begin to pray for man when we begin to pray for souls we see that the prayer just goes before God as frankincense itin api manushyan gana yagnya karana vita අනිත් අය වෙනුවෙන් එතකොට අපගේ යාඥාවලු දෙවියන් වහන්සේ වෙතට යන්නේ මේ කට්ට කුමංචල් ආකාරයටයි. So we are here to bring salvation to minister to people the way of salvation and be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. ඉතින් අපි මේ පොළවේ සිටින්නේ පොළවේ ලුණු හැටියට ලෝකයේ ආලෝකයේ හැටියට මිනිස්යන්ට මේ ගැලවීම ලබා දීමටයි. Let your life be tasty to people and let your life be open to people and say God I thank you wherever I go I can be a good bit nas to them ඉතින් ඔබගේ ජීවිතේ අනිත් අයට රසවත් වෙන්න සලස්වන්න ඔබ යන ඕනම ස්ථානයක ඔබ ඔවුන්ට සාක්ෂියක් වෙන්න divine life dwells in us this is the temple of the holy spirit holy god dwells in you and me ඉතින් මේ අපේ ශරීරය තමයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ මාලිගාව මේ දිව්‍යමය ආත්මය අප තුළ වාසය කරනවා ශුද්ධ ආත්මන වහන්සේ අප තුළ වාසය කරනවා that's the second gift and the third mer it means death and embalmment දුවෙනි ත්‍යාගය හැටියට තිබෙන්නේ සුවඳ ලාටු. එතකොට එතන හඳුන්වන්නේ මරණය සහ කෙනෙක් මරුණාම ශරීරය මට තවරන ශරීරයට කරන ඒ කල්පවත්වා ගන්න කරන කාර්ය ගැන. Jesus's death has brought life to us. Jesus වහන්සේගේ මරණය අපගේ ජීවිතයට ජීවනය ගෙන තිබෙනවා. Bible says that we have passed from death and we have entered into life. Bible එ පවසන්නේ අපි මරණය පසු කරමින් ජීවනයට ළඟා at the avid bawai romans chapter 5 verse 10 says we were enemies of god through jesus's death we were reconciled unto him roma pahe 10 kiyanne api deviyan wahansege saturan was sitiya namuth jesus wahansege maranaya tulin api deviyan wahanse samaga samagi wuna so let that within you if you have some kind of a desire i want to do this i want to do that let that self die take up the cross and follow jesus that's the most important thing in your life ithin obatama kiya aasha wal tibenawa na mata me deta aasha me de karanna asai attatama oba e dewal maraneda pat karamin jesus christus wahanse udesa oba jeevat wenna let the life of god flow through you oba ida harinna devi jesus wahanse ge jeevanaya oba tulin gala gena yanna let the death of jesus christ show you the way and let the life of god flow through you ida harinna jesus wahanse ge maranaya tulin oba ge jeevithayata unwahanse ge jeevanaya oba tulin gala gena yanna the bible says in romans chapter 5 verse 17 through one he da hate pawasanawa to one man's offense death reigned ekkenen one man's death offense death reigned ekkene kuge varada nisa paapaya rajakam kala by one man abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness will reign ehema nam karuna veda dharmishta kamena nemedi divana ave bahulatwe labanna wu ekkena wu yesus wahanse karna kota ene ida wada jeevane rajakam kala we can reign in this life through jesus christ it is yesus christ wahanse thulin apata me jeevithe rajakam karanna puluwan so you can speak forth life giving words the bible says that life and death are in the power of your tongue 
ඉතින් ඔබට පුළුවන් ජීවනේ වචන කතා කරන්න මක් නිසාද බයිබලේ පවසන්නේ මරණය ජීවනයත් ඔබගේ දිවෙහි කෙළවරේ තිබෙන බවයි when we begin to speak life giving words we begin to reign on this earth ඉතින් අපි ජීවනදායක වචන කතා කරන විට අපි මේ පොළව තුල රජකම් කරීමක් වෙන්නේ that's what god wants us to ඒක තමයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේට ඕන කරන්නේ god bless you ඔබට දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ ආශිර්වාද